Hello everyone, big game out here, and welcome to my switch. How much CEX will pay me cash voucher? How much I'd have to pay for my collection video? Yes, I thought I'd wear my authentic Caribbean shirt because uh, people are loving me holiday videos lately, so I, uh, I thought I'd put it on. Needs a little bit of a neck sorting out. Maybe it's just because I'm getting a bit fat, I don't know. <laughs> But yeah, my authentic Caribbean shirt, or Caribbean, however you want to say it. So yeah, go and check out them holiday videos. <laughs> Little bit of a plug. All right. So I've been going through my Switch collection. I've pulled out a few in front of me, which I think uh, there isn't any value. There isn't. You ain't going to see Switch games really in charity shops, and if you do, they're not going to be cheap. So I've pulled out ones what I think you should play. Better ones for the collection. Ones that maybe are a bit more, I don't know, worth paying over the others. Because they're all around the same sort of price Switch games. You ain't going to get one cheap. Uh, and you don't, at the same time, you don't want to pay the expensive prices. I will give you a little bit of a round, I suppose, of ones that are worth picking up. But yeah, so I went through my collection. There's a few I didn't take. There's a few, I've got quite a few like limited games from limited companies. I've got a limited run, there's, I don't know, some American companies. But yeah, they, they make Switch games and I enjoy playing them sort of games. So I bought them, but CEX don't take them in. But they did take in 86 of them. A lot of the big box stuff they don't take in. But yeah, well they do take, they, they take the normal game in, they won't give you a collector's edition price. So yeah, I thought I'd... Uh, Put a few out here and go through basically how much CEX will give me for my don't know, average size Switch collections, 86 games. It's not big, it's not small, but yeah, we'll go for it. So first up, I'm going to go and show you the shelf. A lot of them are Pokemon games. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we'll come back here. we we'll talk about the games I pulled out and then the big part, the reveal of how much so yeah, it will give me for all this stuff. So, out of them 86 games that CEX take in, 11 of them are part of the Pokemon series. There is uh, there is 11 up here, I can assure you. A couple of them are still sealed on the sides there. But yeah, 11 of the Switch games are Pokemon games. We've got the big box Ring Fit Adventure there. Sadly, like a lot of these don't take more signature editions and stuff. The only other one they do take is that pretty one and two big box. And I counted Toki, although the big box collector edition is the same price as the normal game. So yeah, let's have a look through the Switch games that we have got, part of that 86. And I'll point out the couple that do not trade in. So the first one is obviously Limited Run. Castlevania Anniversary Collection. Uh, second one is Cave Story. These are mainly all limited run games that they don't take. Or from limited companies. Like Earth Atlantis. Good shoot at that. I need to actually open it and play my copy. I had to go at an event. Yeah, they do take in a lot of the big box stuff. Sadly, with these... I've noticed if you buy them in uh, CEX, you don't get the big box, you literally just get the game. Pick that down there. <laughs> do have a bit of lighting. So yeah, right, right down there you've got a, which one is it they do not take? This one here. It's another shooter by the company, what make the one at the top here, Earth Atlantis. Made a stellar interface. They are like little, little good shooters. And the other one they don't take down here is this big collector's edition. Another limited, limited style game. I don't know what company that is. SRG. Whoever they are. But yeah. Can't really uh, <laughs> see down here too much. It's a bit dark. Pull out some of the better titles and we'll have a we'll have a closer look at them. Ones that CX do actually take, but 
yeah, this is the 86. Well, most of the 86 that they take. And the cat is going mad. Right, I'm going to start with one. I don't know if it's good value, I haven't played it yet. It looked like a fun game. It's the most expensive game in my collection, so I thought I'd show you it, just to show you that I don't really have expensive games when it comes to the total. Uh, so this is £70. It's a collector edition. It is Prinny 1 and 2. Expand and reloaded. Just dessert edition. So I picked this up for it was £45 on a, on a road trip I did. Probably, what was that now? Two, three years ago now. <laughs> We're getting old. Two and a half years ago, I think it was. But I picked this up when we was down on our first road trip down south. For £45, it's now worth 70 I didn't look at and see what it trades in for. But if you want to just buy the standard edition, the game is £48 on its own. So I've done all right. I don't know whether... Uh, I don't know whether it's worth playing or not, but it looks like a fun little platforming game and you get two of them, right? So, the ones I have picked out, which I think are more of the ones worth getting. So, first one is a collection. It is the Atari 50 Anniversary Collection. So, you've got loads of games on here. So, more than 100 games on this. And this is £20. So, £20 to play 100 games. You can't go wrong. It's cheaper on PS4, Xbox, PS5, whatever, but... Obviously, we're doing the Switch version now. So, if you are a Switch lover, there's 100 games on here. It works out, was that like 20p a game? Can't really go wrong. Great value for money. All right, if you like your racers, this is an arcade style racer. We have Horizon Chase Turbo. So, this is £25. And honestly, definitely one worth picking up sooner rather than later because when people start finding out about it, I reckon the price will go up on it. Right, we come to our first of many first party Nintendo games. We've got Kirby Return to Dreamland Deluxe Edition. So this is the best rated Switch game on the CEX website. If you go like the top rated, this comes up number one. I haven't played it myself, so I can't tell you if it's any good. But if you do want to play it, it's currently £40 and will probably be around that price forever. Alright, we've got one of the really early Switch games here. We've got Mario Kart Deluxe 8. So, of course, everyone needs Mario Kart. And being a first-party Nintendo game, yep, this is still £40 to buy. So, if you like your Mario Kart, definitely worth picking up that one. Alright, now, just because I'm a big fan, I've gone for this one out of all of them. It is Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu. So, yeah, this is based on the original games. So more like Pokemon Yellow, but weird mechanics in it. You don't actually battle to catch new Pokemon. It's all done via Pokemon Go style with the ball with the the the, the, the uh, ring gets smaller. Get the ball in there, spin it, curve ball that rubbish. Get it all in there, bam, catch the Pokemon rather than battling them down to weaken them. And yeah, so. If you're going to play a Pokemon game, I'd recommend like one of the original ones. But this is a good one to have on a modern system. And being a first party Nintendo game again, it's £35. Well, being a Pokemon game, £35. They always hold their values. Another first party Nintendo game, we have got Super Mario Odyssey. So this I picked out this one out of all the Mario games because this is the most unique. So this is in like a 3D world. And if you play two players, the second player gets to play as the hat. Who doesn't want to play as a hat? Definitely one worth picking up. It's not that long of a game. Probably 15 to 20 hours. And yeah, this is £38 currently in CX to buy. Holds its value. It's probably I think it's one of the earlier launch titles as well. And the last one I've got for you is another collection game. So this one is one of the cheapest ones. I feel this is like a good value for money for what it is. There's four, there's four games on it. It works out £5 game. It's £20 to buy. It is Turrican Flashback, the 30th anniversary edition. So you've got Turrican, Mega Turrican, Turrican, and Turrican 2. 
So I think that they're all different ages, different systems. But there are the four games you get. So your little platforming shooter style game, run and gun. Definitely, definitely worth picking up. I was a fan of uh, Turrican back in the days. So yeah, and if you want to get Mega Turrican and play it, you don't have to pay two, three hundred pounds for a Mega Drive copy. It's right here on here for twenty pounds. Definitely, definitely worth picking up. So yeah, that is the games I think that you are more likely to want to get in your collection. I do have some cheap ones over there. There's a Advent calendar game which is like five or six pounds, but yeah. It's a Christmas advent calendar game. Do you really want that in your collection? Unless you're mad like me. Probably not. You want to spend your money on games worth buying and worth playing. So yeah. So let's get on to the part you've all been waiting for. My Switch collection. So if I've packed up all my 86 games that CEX take in, put them in a bag, walked into CEX, put them on their counter. They'd probably say that's too many games we ain't paying for them. But if they did, <laughs> um, you would get in cash... £962. Now, I don't think that's bad. Considering the markups we've had on some of the other collections, I don't think that's a bad price for cash for CEX, uh, for my Switch games. And you'll find out why at the end. Because Vircha, they'd actually give me £1,386. So that's only a small percentage from difference between cash and voucher, some of them we've seen like nearly double. So that, that's, that's not even half of 962 and added together, that is literally just under that. So it's probably about a 40% difference rather than the 60, 70, 80s that we normally see in other systems. But yeah, this is this is the shocking part. If I went, if I went to CX Day and had to buy them, it would cost me 2,122 pound. So that is what my Switch collection is worth as per CEX website. Now, considering the cash is probably about 45% of that, that's not a bad markup. And if you're going for voucher, the voucher is probably about 70% of the total. So you're only losing like 30%. That's, that's not bad. Not bad at all. Considering like the PS2 one we had was absolutely shocking. So yeah, Switch games, if you want to trade them into CEX, if you do find any out there, but you're probably going to be paying over the top for them in the first place. You can get some good value back from. Don't know how long that will last. It'll probably, by the time this video goes out, see it's probably cut the prices right down on them. Who knows? It's like they're trying. But yeah, at the moment, Switch games are good value to trade in. So yeah, that just leaves me to say thank you all for watching. I do have more of these videos planned. People are enjoying them. And yeah, hopefully you've learned something from this and you found a game that you think is worth buying but that way around so you actually see the titles yeah they are just ones i picked let me know down in the comments if you think there's any that are worth buying that i should add to my collection because i'm always on the lookout for switch games i do like the system i do like to add games to it so yeah they don't take up much room on the shelf they're only they're only small little thin cases they're tiny can't really go wrong so yeah thank you all for watching and as always I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.